Another learning day, everyone. Again, this is Teacher Marlene, and we're going to study about direct variation. This is one of the four types of variations. Let us start by describing direct variation. It is comparing the ratio between the two quantities. And the ratio between the two quantities is constant. The constant is usually denoted as K. The commonly terms used are one quantity varies directly as other quantity or one quantity is directly proportional to other quantity. Now, let us illustrate direct variation using this situation. A motorist drives along the South Luzon Expressway at a constant speed of 80 km per hour. How far will he go in 2 hours, in 5 hours, and in 3 hours? Let us put the situation in a table. Observe, the quantities being compared are the time using hours as the unit of measurement and the distance in kilometers. In the first hour, he runs for 80 kilometers. So definitely, in 2 hours, he was about in 160 kilometers. Can you guess the distance traveled in 3 hours? Yes, it is 240 kilometers. How did you get it? Alright, by multiplying time by 80. So what is the distance traveled in 4 hours? So 4 times 80 gives us 820. Then, 5 times 80 will be 400 kilometers. And in general, time will give us 80 days. Let us further observe in the table if the distance is divided by time like 80 divided by 1 will give us 80. 160 divided by 2 is also 80. 240 divided by 3 is the same as 80. 320 divided by 4 is also equal to 80. The same with 400 divided by 5. And 80 divided by T is also 80. If this happened in the table, we can say we have a common constant, which is 80. This is how you check if the given table is a kind of direct variation. Now, before solving problems, it is important to know how to translate the verbal phrases into mathematical symbols. Notice that varies directly indicates multiplication. For example, varies directly as Q. Take note, P and Q are the two quantities and we will use K for the constant of variation. So, it can be written in P is equal to KQ. Now, how will you translate this? The cost of meat varies directly as the number of kilos bought. Here, we will use C for the cost of meat and N for the number of kilos bought. So we can write this as C is equal to KN, where K is the constant of variation. Let us have another example. The weight of an athlete is directly proportional to his height. In this example, the weight of an athlete is represented with W and H for his height. Can you write down your answer? Kindly check if you arrive at the same answer of W is equal to AH. 
Well, I hope these examples are clear because it is the basic in solving direct variation. Now, let us solve the following problems. In the first example, if y varies directly as x and y equals 40 when x equals 16, find y when x equals 30. Let me start by transforming y varies directly as x into symbols. This will be y is equal to kx. Then we will solve for the constant of variation which is k using the given y equals 40 when x equals 16. By substitution, y which is 40 is equal to k times x which is 16. By dividing both sides by 16, so 40 divided by 16, and k times 16 over 16. We can cancel 16 over 16, which is equal to 1. So, the value of k is equal to 5 halves. Since we obtained the variation equation, which is y is equal to 5 halves x, we can now find y when x equals 30 by substitution. y is equal to 5 halves times 30 which is equal to 150 over 2. So, y is equal to 75. Let us take a look at example number 2. If P is directly proportional to Q and P is equal to 25 when Q is equal to 20, Find Q when P equals 140. Again, using the statement P e is directly proportional to Q, we can translate this to symbol P is equal to KQ. Then solve for the constant of variation using P is equal to 25 when Q is equal to 20. By substitution, P, which is equal to 25, is equal to K times Q, which is 20. Dividing both sides by 20, so, a constant of variation is 5 fourths. Now, let us find Q when P is equal to 140. So, using the variation equation, P is equal to 5 fourths Q, substitute P, which is equal to 140. Then, we have to eliminate 5 fourths. So, multiply both sides by 4 fifths. So, we can cancel 140 and 5. So, the common here is 5. 140 divided by 5 will give us 28. Then 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. On the right side, we can cancel 5 over 5, which is also 1. And 4 over 4, which is also equal to 1. So the value of Q is equal to 4 times 28, which is simplified to 100. Now, let us have this problem. The weight of an object on the moon is directly proportional to its weight on Earth. An astronaut who weighs 60 kilograms on Earth weighs 10 kilograms on the moon. How would Ruben weigh on the moon if he is 48 kilograms on Earth? Let us represent weight on the moon as W sub M and weight on Earth as W sub E. So the symbol for the statement, the weight of an object on the moon is directly proportional to its weight in symbol is W sub M is equal to K times W sub E. 
Now let us solve the constant of variation. Let us substitute W sub M as 10 is equal to A times W sub E which is 60. Divide both sides by 60. So our constant of variation is 1 sixth. Now let us find the weight on the moon if Ruben weighs 48 kilograms. Using the equation W sub M is equal to 1 sixth of W sub E. Let us substitute 48 for W sub E. So, the weight is 8. Ruben weighs 8 kilograms on the moon. Let us solve another problem. The circumference of a circle varies directly as its radius. The circumference of a circle, which has 15 centimeters as radius, is 30 pi. Find the circumference of a circle whose radius is 16 centimeters. Let us translate the statement. The circumference of a circle varies directly as its radius into symbol. It will be C is equal to A R. Now let us solve for the constant of variation. Substitute the circumference, which is 30 pi, and the radius is 15 centimeters. Let us divide both sides by 15. We can cancel 15 over 15, that will give us 1, then times k, so the k value is equal to 2 pi. Now let us find the circumference when the radius is 16 centimeters. Using the variation equation, c is equal to 2 pi r, substitute r, which is equal to 16, and multiply to 2 pi. So the circumference is equal to 32 pi. Therefore, the circumference of the circle is 32 pi. Well, I hope you learned from my discussions. Please subscribe and keep on watching my video tutorials. Happy learning everyone!